how do you create a situation for yourself as actors and as filmmakers where you can take material that's not your own, let's say, and make it personal? I try and remember that this character as an actor is, is a human being and that there is a human being out there that needs to see this and that it will affect somebody. Remembering that it's an honor to get the opportunity to have a platform to display humanity to humanity and that even if it's not something that I am completely in love with, I as an artist try and remind myself that with the privilege of having this platform, I get to help express someone else's story. You never want to judge you know, the character that you're portraying. That was something I learned uh, fairly early on. What's the thing that everybody's gonna relate with? And that's gonna do something for them when they find themselves relating and empathizing with someone like that, you know? And I think that can lead to a very cathartic moment. One of the problems that I find, you know, as a critic looking at all these movies that I do every year, so many of them seem to be made by committee. And I know enough screenwriters and filmmakers to say that, you know, this is what I wanted it to be. Wow. And marketing people came in and said, you know, we need to do this and this and this. And, and so you can see very visibly the compromises on the screen. I just think that if it's a job, if you're hired to make a movie, it's one thing. But then if you have opportunity to film your own film, mm -hmm. then you should I, really be true to yourself. I disagree because I feel like every project is my name associated with it. And this is the relationship I kind of like built with the audience. But as soon as they, they see my name on the, the credits of the movie, so they would be expecting some quality. No, but that will happen because they hired you because it's you. But I mean, now it's a business side to it that you can't just ignore. Well, I don't think that you know, none of us are so pure that we can say that if I get hired by, you know, 20th Century Fox <laughs> yeah. to direct a movie, that I'm going to tell <laughs> Here the head, go. I'm gonna tell the head of the studio, sorry, bub, but this right. is the way we're doing it. How socially active do you feel you want to be or need to be in terms of what you do? I think it is necessary to to come from a socially active place. I'm remembering Nina Simone, who is someone I, mm -hmm. I look up to. But she speaks to how and it's an artist's responsibility to tell the stories of what's happening in society and to reflect that back to society. That's she was penalized for that in her career. Yes. Yeah. And the issue then of the business side of being an artist. Right, you know, right. It may be more lucrative to make something fun and fluffy and, and escapist-like. And, and then to tell something that makes the audience look. I always relate to the movies that break stereotypes hmm. and that reflect the reality of societies. Hmm. I know it, it can be harsh, but I feel like it has to be that way so it can make a difference. The joy of getting to write a narrative story and in filmmaking is you get to incorporate those two aspects where the audience does get to escape because it doesn't look exactly like what I'm going through right now, but at the same time influences yeah. them to do something about what's happening in their society.